so hi friends uh, today we will see how the rectangle will work in the qml and what is the use of uh, the rectangle we can use different different type of uh, uh, to apply uh, radius border color and the colors and how this will we can use in our application with uh, different different controls so this is the most important uh, uh, the component in available in the QT. So we understand the use of the rectangle and how we can use in different different controls to customize their controls and make that design proper way. So let's get started to open the QT creator and we will learn the so rectangle को की क्या क्या प्रॉपर्टी होती है तो जो रेक्टेंगल की प्रॉपर्टी होती है उनका यूज करके हम क्या क्या यूज कर सकते हैं उसका कैसे कलर अप्लाई कर सकते हैं किस तरह से बॉर्डर अप्लाई कर सकते हैं और क्या क्या सेप क्रिएट कर सकते हैं तो सबसे पहले हम क्यूटी का डॉक्यूमेंटेशन देखेंगे यहाँ पर तो रेक्टेंगल इन जब हम रेक्टेंगल का डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ओपन करते हैं तो हम देखते हैं कि कुछ प्रॉपर्टी हमारे लिए अवेलेबल हैं जो हम यूज कर सकते हैं तो सबसे पहले हम अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे कि क्या क्या रिक्वायरमेंट होती है किसी भी कंपोनेंट को यूज करने की क्यूमेल में तो सबसे पहले होता है इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट विच वी नीड टू इंक्लूड और द इम्पोर्ट देडर फाइल्स इन दाइड द क्यूमेल तो लेट uh we check if we have already this uh, uh quick control uh, like quity quick imported already or not so if we check here we uh, included here so this version we need required in the qt5 support otherwise it not required it will load the latest qt quick uh, in qt6 uh, if any of uh, version you are running in the qt so check from the here uh, go to the project section and if you you are you can check which version you are using like i am using the desktop 6.7 so uh, here uh, i don't need to include uh, the uh, version of the qt quick it required in the qt5 and then otherwise you can remove uh, this so it will auto pick up uh, the latest one so let's move to the documentation so here uh, we have already and second thing you need to uh, keep in mind that the inherit which component it is inherit from like uh, the item so uh, we can use these property also like in the item statement it uh, contain these property like the anchors active focus active focus on tab anti aliasing baseline these are some of the property like height width focus opacity palette and the parent and the state transform we will see the one by one and also understand the role of x y z and the birth height visual l children and the rotation and the palette opacity enable disable so these are the some of the property we will uh, see so this is the base component of uh, item is the base component of uh, also we have the qt object the inherit if you see here that it inherit the qt object so if we go inside and we will see how uh, the qt uh, object will work inside the qml so we will see one by one how these things will work so the these are the property like for the top left radius bottom left radius and these are only available in the qt 6.7 if you see here the uh the indicate the since as uh, 6.7 so you cannot use uh, like uh, the previous version of uh, the qt so you need to create a custom uh, rectangle where you can use uh, the bottom left radius top left radius apply so uh, the previous version uh, they don't provide you need to uh, provide the all, uh, similar radius for the all, all the corners like the radius uh, property here let's uh, go and see how this uh, the radius and color and gradient will work so let's uh, 
open the qt creator here let's apply uh, the rectangle let's create the simple rectangle first so if i choose the rectangle then it will auto suggest some of the property like uh, uh, how much width you want to uh, apply let's suppose uh, we want to apply some width of the rectangle like uh, 200 and we need, uh, also apply some height like uh, 100 or 150 something and one of the property we have the called the radius if you uh, don't know how, what the property available in the rectangle you just uh, hover inside uh, top of uh, the rectangle or the component any of the component and just press the function f1 key and it it will open uh, let's what the Sorry, function key not working on my system so uh, we will uh, see later like something wrong so uh, let's apply some radius here if i apply radius like 20 and also some of the property available let's see or the property like the color we also apply color and we have also the border uh, property and border will contain the color and and the width and the pixel align it then let's apply uh, let's check first run with this only so by default any of the component you created uh, like we are not apply the color that's why it, uh, default taken the white let's apply some color here like i apply red color here So this is I apply red color. Uh, let's check. This is the rectangle. So by default, it uh, goes on the start from the top left corner. So we need to adjust by using the anchor property, or we can use uh, the layout, and or we can use also the x y uh, property to align this rectangle. Let's suppose we use x y here let's apply some x like 100 i want to move uh, right side x and y on the bottom side uh, from the top so let's i apply 100 and 100 and we will check like it move uh, from the left to the 100 and top to the 100 so the are the use of uh, x and y and there are also z property available which uh, uh works like a layering concept like uh i apply the one here and i i also created the similar kind of the rectangle yeah and i also apply uh, the x 100 by uh red like let's suppose uh 20 120 120 and the height width is something like uh 100 and 100 okay and the color of this like yellow let's change the color so we can identify clearly and let's run this like currently we have z1 and z1 basically the same layer if we apply the z property and uh, by default it will be the zero so currently not showing the uh, uh, yellow rectangle but we want to show the top of uh, the red rectangle of the yellow rectangle then we need to apply some different z property basically to, to create on the upper layer of uh, the rectangle one let's suppose i apply the id here the rectangle one and here i give the rectangle and the id rectangle two so uh, the important thing here here you need to keep in mind uh, the uh, id need to create first later on always on small the id we provide for the component to access the property like if we want to the access the property inside the another component like inside the rectangle 2 then we need to use by the id id dot uh, the property name 
so I will show you after that. So here I apply the jet property two, and here apply the jet property one. So let's see the difference. What is the difference uh, to applying? And now it will be visible on the top of like uh, the red one created uh, the layer one, and the uh, the yellow created the layer two. If uh, you do not provide uh, the layer, then it will take uh, on the same layer and we will provide the zero zero for the both like z also zero and uh, then if you see uh, the yellow rectangle one uh, the blue of the red rectangle so this is uh, the use of the z property and the xy property and i also apply some radius here and also height and width of that so these are some of the property also color property and let uh, apply some border also let's uh, border also provide some like border dot width let's suppose we apply border with two and some different color border dot color like i apply green color here let's see so if you see it apply some border of the two outside of the uh, of the rectangle so we can create different different shape by uh, using this border and the rectangle so let's if i also want to apply border here let's i apply here the z property uh, here two or one basically the more than rectangle one so it will be visible on the top of the red rectangle so if i want to like access the property of the rectangle one inside the rectangle two so uh, here what i need to do let's suppose border dot width and i apply the similar uh, border dot width like whenever the border of the width change of the rectangle one it will also apply on the rectangle two so here uh, i use the id of the rectangle one here let's uh, rectangle one dot uh, border uh, dot width so it take the width of the rectangle one and basically we bind here the bind the property uh, with the rectangle one like this symbol uh, like we use the colon here the, that means we are binding this, this property and let's also apply the color so rectangle one and then border dot color so it will apply the color also let's check like uh, if you see here it will also apply the border and uh, the border color bo both the property from that if we want to apply the radius similar like we don't want to provide the radius here let's apply here then rectangle one and uh, the radius and we can also apply uh, the other property as well like if you want to apply from the rectangle two to rectangle one so we can use their id like if we want to apply the height then rectangle two dot height and it will take the height from the hair so if the rectangle two change the height then it will also change the height if rectangle l1 change uh, the border with border color and those property we are using like the radius then the rectangle two also change you see this like it will take the height of this and uh, the width of this so this is the use of rectangle like uh, let's also see uh, the latest property which is uh, the bottom left radius top left radius and these are applied so we also see uh, the use of the both the property let's remove this and create another rectangle here let's apply the width is 100 uh, sorry 200 and height also 200 and x uh, some red by red let's it uh, and the color uh, we apply here the green and uh, what uh, like we apply one to the left radius Le bottom left radius is five top left radius is ten and uh, so of right radius is two um, bottom so bottom right radius is uh, five so let's run this and see how this property will work here yeah. 
so it will run and if you see here it applied different uh, radius here applied different radius like 5 5 and here it applied 2 radius and here applied 10 radius so this is the huge like whenever uh, we want to create some different shape let me show you how to we can use these like if we want to create some uh, shape which is similar uh, like uh, paint let me open this paint and let uh, we want to create uh, some sort of let i use the pen something like that we want to something like that and here only we only need to apply the radius from here and only here but we don't want to uh, apply the radius in these both corner here the separate page we are using for and and but here we want to apply some different color and here we want to apply some different color like here we want to fill in the red color here like i have uh, fill red color and here i want to fill the green color then the use of this uh, the radius corner will apply we need to use here so this is something let uh, let uh, create and show you how this we can use here so let we have the two rectangle let's create uh, one more rect uh, here, uh, like we have the uh, width of 600 let's suppose we have the 600 and height is a 2 and let's avoid this xyz and we apply some uh, anchors here like uh, id i give this rect one and similar i copy this and use here uh, which is uh, the rectangle 2 and uh, the width are the same but height is different like let's suppose i created the 300 but this is the green not green but the yellow rectangle okay so these are the both rectangle let's uh, i assume this is the horizontal uh, after that i'll show you how to use the anchor for so horizontal center parent dot horizontal center horizontal center so it will like move on the uh, uh, horizontally in the center of the that and similar i also apply this property to the bottom and one more property i need to apply here uh, which is in the anchor dot top of this rectangle which is the bottom of uh, bottom of rectangle one so rectangle one dot bottom okay so uh, this is something uh, let's run this if you see this uh, like uh, currently what happening like here like if uh, we do not use these property of it and we apply some radius here like if i apply the radius here and the 20 here also i want to apply the radius because i have only the one option to apply the radius with the fourth corner of the rectangle so let's suppose but here if you uh, if you see here i don't want to apply the radius then there is no option to uh, do this if you see then uh, what we need to do we need to like uh, create the custom component uh, to apply some radius but uh, in qt 6.7 qt itself provide uh, left right top uh, bottom the corner of the radius so we will see here so let's apply the radius like we only want to apply the radius 20 on the top like top left radius 20 and top right radius also the 20 and rest of the radius is 0 similarly yeah in the inside the second rectangle here only i apply 20 radius here i apply 20 radius but uh, the top radius is zero and the top right radius is zero and let's uh, create 200 only and if we see 
that it will like combine both and there is uh, no uh, gap between the both of the rectangle so like this type of the shape or uh, we want to create uh, like we want to create some flag some something uh, which is required in uh, application then we can use this rectangle property uh, which is only available in the 6.7 version of the Qt and the previous version they don't have this property you need to use the custom rectangle where you can find that custom rectangle where uh, on my blog so go to the the breha.blogspot.com and here you can search the round rectangle this is the round 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 rectangle where you can use different different shapes such like that uh, you can apply different different radius on different different corners and by i also uh, uh, mention the code you can use this code and apply the uses of the rectangle here these are the uses of the rectangle so you can use this uh, if you are using the previous version of the uh, qt like below uh, of the 6.7 so you can use this rectangle and apply and the radius based on your requirements so this is some property of the rectangle and some of the uh, property also available like if you want to the gradient like if you want to the apply the gradient then you can also apply gradient and the anti-aliasing and pixel align through you can apply this so you can learn these applying uh, by yourself and uh, th these two property and some of the property you can see which is also available in the rectangle but uh, inside the item if you see the inherit then you can move uh, the item property and here also you can apply like clip focus enable disable something like uh, if you want to see here like uh, if i'm i um, apply the enable property it is available here like enable true or enable false or here you can also apply focus true and focus policy focus will be uh, we will see the later on how to apply and what is the use of focus policy like qt dot strong focus strong focus and we will learn how the use of whenever we uh, work uh, on the key navigation that time we will need to apply and we need to apply some of the component the, again the focus that time so uh, we that time we will see how uh, the focus policy so this is some basic property you need to understand uh, uh, to use the rectangle in the uh, our project so and these are the common uh, property which is mostly used in uh, the QML. So, and if you want to learn uh, advanced than implicit height, then we will see the later on, and also we will see how this layer property will work and opacity. If you want to opacity also scale also like opacity. Let's apply op opacity 0 0.2, and uh, let's see what is uh, it create the difference like you see it will apply some opacity and here uh, the minor color and also at the disable condition so if we enable this let's suppose if we enable this and here see it uh, there is no difference between uh, the enable and disable so uh, if i apply change this like 8 then it uh, uh, like it little bit more uh, the color so these are some common property you can use and try yourself to creating the different different shape by the rectangle and different different use of the rectangle we will learn uh, one by one uh, the basic controls and after that when uh, we create the project or the create custom component that time we understand the actual use of the rectangle so uh, you just practice these applying the property and uh, i will show you the next video how this anchor will work and the layout to position uh, uh, the rectangles so that's it for this video and thanks for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel and also the linkedin uh, page you need to follow uh, to get the latest update of the any of the video so that's it thanks for watching